So in this video, let us see how we can analyze the general equation of a straight line. That is, if an equation of the form ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is given, we have already seen that it represents a straight line. Now, how can you find the slope of the straight line? How can you find the x-intercept and y-intercept of the straight line? And how to find the distance of this line from origin? So these are the three things that we learn initially. So first, if you want to find the slope of this straight line, you can try to convert this into the form of y is equal to mx plus c. So if you convert this into slope intercept form, then slope and y-intercept will be clearly visible to you. So let us do that. So from this, by is equal to minus ax minus c. This implies y is equal to minus a by b times x minus c by b. So y is equal to something into x plus something. So this has to represent the slope of this line and this has to represent the y-intercept of this line. I hope this is clear. So the slope of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is nothing but minus a by b. That is equal to minus of a is nothing but x coefficient divided by b is nothing but y coefficient. So in any line, if you do minus of x coefficient by y coefficient, you get the slope of the line. So you need to remember this. You won't be, you're not expected to derive this every time whenever you want slope. So from now on, slope is minus of x coefficient by y coefficient, minus of x coefficient by y coefficient of a line. Next, what are x-intercept and y-intercept? So you can very clearly see that the constant which you get here is nothing but the y-intercept minus c by b. So if you want both x-intercept and y-intercept, what is the best process? So the best process is to convert this into intercept form. So x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 is the intercept form. So if you can convert this into this form that is x by something plus y by something is equal to 1, you get the intercepts. So let us try to convert this into this form. So ax plus by is equal to minus c and if you divide both sides with minus c, ax by minus c plus by by minus c is equal to 1. This implies x by minus c by a, so if you send this a onto the denominator, plus y by minus c by b is equal to 1. So whatever you get below x is the x-intercept, whatever you get below y is the y-intercept. So x-intercept is nothing but minus c by a, y-intercept is nothing but minus c by b. You can see that you got the same answer here, minus c by b minus c by b. So whatever method you do, you'll always get the same answer as long as you're following the right method. So these are the intercepts. But you're not expected to remember this because it is very easy to find intercepts in another way. So to find the intercept, the easiest way is if you want x-intercept, you just need to put y is equal to 0. So if you put y is equal to 0, this becomes 0. So ax plus c is equal to 0. So x is minus c by a. So if you want x-intercept, just put y is equal to 0. ax plus c is equal to 0. So x is equal to minus c by a. And y-intercept is nothing but, you just need to put x is equal to 0 this time. So by plus c is equal to 0, y is equal to minus c by b. So x-intercept, you put y is equal to 0, y-intercept, you put x is equal to 0. So by this, you can directly derive your x-intercept and 
y intercept so this is just the value of abscess of x intercept if you want the point the point is minus c by a comma 0 if you want the point here the point is 0 comma minus c by b next if you want the distance of this line from origin so if you plot this line assume that the line looks like this in the Cartesian system Cartesian plane now you are asked to find the distance of this line from origin so if you remember different forms in which form is this number visible yes you have guessed it right in the normal form right so if you convert the equation into normal form whatever comes on the right hand side is the distance from origin and you have also seen how to convert a general line into normal form so let us do that so ax plus by is equal to minus c and we divide both sides with root of a square plus b square to make the coefficients cos theta and sin theta so a by root of a square plus b square times x plus b by root of a square plus b square times y is equal to minus c by root of a square plus b square now we have finally seen that if this constant is positive directly the normal form is before you if this constant is negative if this term is negative you have to send this minus onto this side and whatever number here represents the perpendicular distance so whether this is positive or negative the mod of this is the perpendicular distance from origin so the distance from origin is nothing but mod of c by root of a square plus b square mod because we don't know whether c is positive or not so whatever the value of c is we take the positive value so the distance from origin is the constant term by root of a square plus b square constant term by root of a square plus b square this has to be remembered so these are the three things that you need to understand about the general equation of a straight line the slope is minus of x coefficient by y coefficient for x intercept put y is equal to 0 and find x for y intercept put x is equal to 0 and find y next the distance of this line from origin is given by the constant term by root of a square plus b square modulus so i hope you have understood these three terms thank you